Good morning guys and welcome to my YouTube channel As usual, I am Mike K From this quiet area of Abadin Where so many hotels can be located Lead Hotel Elton Hotel that is under construction Lagunda Hotel Bamoy And so many hotels You can locate around this community of Abadin Join me as we take a walk a usual weekend walk of Abadin. Let's go as we take our usual morning walk. And this building that you are seeing is part of Lead Hotel. This part of Lead Hotel is still under construction, but there are other buildings that are already completed of Lead Hotel. Just opposite of Lead Hotel is Elton Hotel that is still under construction. Elton Hotel is still under construction. You cannot see it clearly from this point. So this is part of the Cape Sierra Elton Hotel area that is under construction. But this part it's been called Lead Hotel. It is one of the most beautiful hotels currently in town. And this road is usually called Kipsia Road. And you will see so many people taking their either morning exercises or morning walk. So many people of various occupations who come around the Abadin Lomli area to take their morning exercises. I saw that the government have demolished some structures around the beach. I don't know why. They have demolished so many structures along the beach. I actually don't know the reason why they demolish those structures. But maybe, if possible, I will interview some of the owners of these structures. That they do demolish. It's another beautiful area. Called Sky Bar. Area for kids where kids will come and play. This other area is an hotel called Omli and also have a casino. It's also have a casino and a hotel. Leon Casino. This is the bar aspect. And it also have a spa. This is a spa called Yon Spa. This is around the Abadin Beach on table. These are portraits of some of our heroes. This is by Bure. These are people from the National Dance Troupe. As I mentioned, I saw so many places that the government have demolished. They left this one. I don't know why they left this one. 
and they demolish some other structures that after this one. Look at all of this area used to have structures. As you can see, governments have demolished all of these structures. areas used to have beach bars but the ministry of uh, ministry of tourism to the tourist board have demolished all of the structures and i see that the transfer most of their structures at this end okay These are the structures they left them. So this area has been called a Mam's Beach Bar. So I don't know why they demolish the others, but some of those ones still remain. This is Mam's Beach Bar. So they demolished some left so I believe that there must there must be a reason I want to find out that reason why some must be demolished and some remain still remain still standing and I can see others that have gone you can see those around this area all of them have gone All these structures around this area, all of them have been demolished, as you can see. So I don't know the reason why. Why they left some and they demolish the others. towards the tourist board if I will find anyone that will talk to me that's good this is Jamaica Beach Bar called Kingston some people for some famous people from Jamaica. It's called Nani. It's called Ricardo Ganda. And this is called Marcos Gavi. That's Marcos Gavi. Called Kingston Beach Bar and Lodge. It's a popular one. We all know that Kingston. Kingston is the capital of Jamaica and they usually have their reggae music vibes every Friday at 8 pm. They have their curry chicken, stew fish, oxtail, jack chicken, and so on. So 
I will check later on at the at the toys board why they demolish some structures if we can have some explanation from the tourist board why some places have been demolished it will be good but for now I'm also in the dark why they demolish some of these areas and I cannot find anyone to talk to the owners of these beach bars that have already been demolished You know, this is one of one of the most popular area around those places where young models usually come to train and buy some costumes for their work. But it has also been demolished. You know, they used to have some popular fabrics that they sell and also have a beach bar so I don't know why they demolish some of these areas it was one of the longest standing beach bar around this area but it's also gone I don't know if it's the same person that is now operating this one. No, I don't think so. But it's standing without any structure covering it. It's good for now, but when it starts to rain, it will be more riskier. You know, all of these areas have been demolished. One person is sleeping, so they just have to leave someone sleeping at their area. This area, also, this area used to have a, a vehicle standing here, they also demolished. This used to be like this warehouse. This is the beach area of warehouse. This is the club, the night club, and this used to be the outside area. This one still remains. So I don't know if. Some follow regulations and some don't follow the regulations, that's why they demolish them. But I just want to know why some been demolished and some still standing. Sand area of the beach. You can see people that are fishing this morning. You can see them in the sea.
these are some of the people that are making us to eat some of the most quality fishes in the country and beautiful man this is a alien a country with so many beaches along the peninsula This is one of the countries in West Africa that can be boast of so many types of beaches. Golden Sand Beach, White Sand Beach, and Black Sand Beach. Name me a country else in West Africa that you can locate all of these three beaches together. Golden Sand white sand and black sand together these young men are swimming this morning they are refreshing themselves just imagine it's just about 8 a.m. in the morning they are swimming I saw that guys want to take their canoe to the sea so that they will fish in Good morning, good morning. All right, Ruba. Uh, how are you, sir? Oh, now they go fishing? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Ruba. That's not like you said, you go inside. Yes. Right, sir. Wow. Ruba. what some of the young people are doing in order to have their ends meet whilst others don't want to do anything just want to take drugs or scam other people but we do have actually some that are very much hard working going to go up again some are very much hard working
really want to know what causes or why they demolish some of these places. As you can see, they also demolished this area. We are almost at the national. We are almost at the National Tourist Board but I don't think that they will operate today as today being Saturday Today being Saturday I don't think that the National Tourist Board will operate and this is the building of the National Tourist Board The office of the National Tourist Board This is it At the frontage of it, it says Explore Freedom Tourism for all, Salon 2024. Explore and discover the best of Salon. It's us to protect and enjoy tourism for all. So let me just do some inquiries inside. Let me switch off my camera and do some inquiries inside. So I met one of the security around and he told me that. The authorities that are in charge so he says that most of them don't come for work on saturday so i'll find a time to come and interview one of the authorities why they demolish some of those places Maybe they just want to keep the sanity of the beach. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe they are illegal structures. But if they are illegal structures, some of them are very much close to the tourist board office. Why do the tourist board in the first place allow them to put up such structures if they are illegal? So there are some questions need to be answered. Need to be answered. Saturdays and Sundays we will see so many people coming to this beach to do their regular exercise which area at Lomli Abaddon Beach is your most favorite part of the beach which part is your favorite part you know, this is the most common beach in Freetown. It is the most popular beach in Freetown because it is very close to the city center as compared to Laka, Hamilton. Mambo up to number two beach, not mentioning Kent Bure or Tuke. Well, this is the closest to the city center, and the 
encourages everyone and it is free for everyone no need to pay to enter the beach as compared to other beaches around like number two you need to pay an entrance fee you need to pay to sit on the chairs Number two beach is for the top class as compared to this one. This is a newly built beach bar called Western Palace. If possible, I'll find a time to interview the owner or the proprietor of this beautiful beach bar called Western Palace. So guys, I've gotten permission to video this beautiful, newly established place called Western Palace. But I will find a time to come and do the video. It's a beautiful place. I've spoken to the manager in charge and he has given me permission to find a time to come and do a video this place is called Roy's restaurant and this is the Roy's hotel and the other place is being called Sierra Palms this is Sierra Palms hotel another beautiful area for kids called Olba. I've been there Olba restaurants there is Paradise City and I've seen also this area has been demolished. It's another hotel called Atlantic Lumley Hotel. And this is the parking area or the beach area of the hotel. This if you want any type of fish, you can get it from here. You don't know yourself. <laughs> I saw, <laughs> any type of fish, you can get it from here. And this area has been called Spot Zoo. This area is known for pizza. If you want your New York pizza. So 
thank you for watching I have so many interviews to do but as I mentioned I'll find time to do them I'll find time to do them so that I'll bring them to you please don't forget to subscribe and like the video love you and I want to say bye bye